Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and this is a Riot Jinx emulator tutorial. There will be a Yuzu emulator tutorial later. I know I usually use Yuzu. Um, Riot Jinx emulator is, or Ryu Jinx, whatever how you want to call it, is working better with the new Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Um, so I'm making a tutorial for it today. So the first thing you gotta have is of course the Ryu Jinx emulator. Uh, from ryujinx.org and here is a button download the latest build and press either Windows or Linux if you're on Linux and uh, yeah sorry Apple users um, but you click on this and it will download a zip file which will be called ryujinx 1.1.9 in my case and you're gonna open that and in there there's a folder called publish now in here is all the stuff you need so what you gotta do is drag the publish folder out to your desktop or wherever you want to put your Riot Jinx and rename it to Riot Jinx, which is what I did. Okay, cool. So now you don't need the zip file anymore. And the other files you'll need is the firmware, at least 13.2.1. Uh, link will be down in the description as well as for the prod keys. If the links don't work, join my Discord server linked below as well. And you obviously need the game itself. Now another thing we're gonna need to make the gameplay as smooth as possible is a shader cache and I will also have that in the description and I'll show you how to install that. So yeah, once you got all the files from the description or my Discord, let's get right into setting up Riot Jinx. Alright, so you open your folder and there will be a riotjinx.exe in the folder if you want it on your desktop. Just make a shortcut. Um, we open it and you will be greeted with a error message after you see a console pop up and it says keys not found. Now don't worry, this is normal. We're clicking OK. Rijinx will open and this is what you'll see. Now to fix that first error, we're gonna go to file and open Rijinx folder. And in here, we wanna go to system. And here you're gonna paste the prod keys file that you already downloaded. So you put the prod keys in here and now this issue is fixed once you close and reopen Ryujinx. So let me do that. Now just open Ryujinx again and the error should not pop up. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go to tools and install the firmware from a XCI or .zip. So you don't have to unzip it, you just choose the firmware zip file and press open. A confirmation window will pop up saying install firmware 13.2.1. You click yes and it will be installing it. And now let's get into the main settings of Riot Jinx for basically any game. So let's go uh, under options and go to settings. Then in here the game directories is going to be your game folder so press add. And again, this is your game folder, not the game. So don't go in and try to look for it. Now under input, this is where you configure your controllers. For keyboard and mouse setups, please look up another tutorial because I play controller. Um, but yeah, for controller, just press continue. In here, you're gonna choose your controller. And I like the pro controller setup. So under here, you have a default profile. You can load it in. And then uh, it's actually the Joy-Con pair profile. But because I don't like that one, uh, I will just change the A and B button here. And for the rest, this is all set. So from here, you can hit save uh, or you add a new profile called, I don't know. I have an Xbox controller. I'm going to name it Xbox. Now in here, press save and we can move on to the system tab. Now here is where your region is, etc. I would not touch this unless you really want to. I'm gonna expand the DRAM size to six gigabytes. So that means normally a Switch has four gigabytes of RAM and we're basically expanding it by 50%. Now this can cause instability. So if you have crashes and stuff, disable it and try again. Now ignore missing services. I'm gonna choose that as well again may cause instability so try to, to fidget around with these if you have crashes on older games on newer games it could be that a new update of Riot Jinx or Yuzu whichever you're using it still can be fixed all right so for graphics make sure enable shader cache is on again I will show you how to add it in a second now resolution scale uh you should stay on 1080p but I'm gonna go for 4k here 
and backend multi-threading. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, sometimes a crash can be fixed by turning it off, so keep that in mind. Now for logging, I disable all of this. If you're crashing, enable it uh, and see why you're crashing. Now in input, make sure to enable dock mode. I don't know if I said that before. It should be enabled by default. Now please click apply on the bottom and click save and you'll see your games in the list. And here is how you favorite your games. You just gotta go to it and press the little checkbox. And just like that, I have my favorites on the top. Now all you gotta do is double click the game to launch it, but we're gonna add some shader cache first. So the way you do that is you right click and go to cache management and then open shader cache directory. Now in here is where you'll paste the shader cache file. All right, so once you're in the folder, go back one bit and in here open the cache.rar file. You will probably need winrar for this and just drag and drop the shader folder in the cache folder. And just like that, we're all good. So uh, we're going to click out the zip file and now we're ready to basically start the game. Now I can't show game footage in this video because Nintendo will claim it but I have a full 20 minute first impression gameplay video, uh, just gameplay on my channel. It was recorded on Ryujinx as well. So watch the gameplay there since I don't want this video to get taken down by Nintendo. And uh, yeah, I'll be streaming this game on Twitch. So check me out, comment down below if this worked, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and join the Discord server. So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So peace out guys, have fun, peace.